crafters this is paulette this is the name tag that we're making today for february today is valentine's day so happy valentine's day i'm using this really sweet little girl from stampin up she's from the greeting card kids and she's this sweet little image right here with the heart and then we're using the Love You Much, also from Stampin' Up, from the Well Scripted Stamp Set. I don't always use Stampin' Up, uh, even though it's Stampin' Up Card Class, uh, because I just attend class. I, I don't belong to Stampin' Up. And so I don't feel obligated to use that. But I don't have a lot of Valentine images other than hearts and so I went ahead and chose this little girl because she's very sweet and this will be the short version I've already painted a lot of my images here just because I talk too much and this takes a long time so I've stamped the little girl in Rangers archival black ink I also stamped the sentiment in that as well I've already colored her hair here in yellow with Daffodil Delight, and I'm doing her dress in Pacific Point. The heart is Pixie Pink, and then we're going to use a little bit of Close to Coco for her hair, and then a little bit of Blush Blossom for her skin tones. So, I've already colored in quite a bit of these so I will do a couple and then we'll use some of those that are a little bit more dry. I put my reinkers in this Tim Holtz artist tray and water them down just with a big dropper with some water because they're very much like watercolor paint and they just come to life when you add water to them. Now I am no no watercolor genius but that's the cool thing about watercolor you don't have to be so I'm just slopping this on here and leaving a little white area on the side kind of as a highlight and for small areas all you have to do is touch the paintbrush down just tapping is the way I do a lot of it is tap the color in or going in a circular motion Just really quick and then the socks were the same little blue and I am going to do some blue let's see where'd my tiny paintbrush go with the triple zero I'm going to come back in here and do her bow and her sleeves and a little bit darker Okay, I want to do her hair in this close to Coco. Now, because I've already done the bow on that one, let's do this one because there's no color in the, the bow. The thing about watercolor is you have to do areas that are not next to each other, otherwise it bleeds. So we'll do her hair on a couple of these. And I'm just omitting some of the places so that the yellow shines through and then that's my highlight. Oh, what you doing, honey bug? Did you 
run out of Cheerios. We ran out of Cheerios. Okay, for the skin tone, I'm using a little bit of Blush Blossom. And let's do a couple that are dry. And that's just really quickly laying down the color. Oh, I forgot to paint the socks on some of these. Uh-oh, are you okay? And you can use your heat tool to dry some of this too if you're in a hurry and you need to go faster. I did that on the first video and it was eternally long. Okay, so let's take Zap this one just real quick. And then we'll do her cheeks. All right. We're just doing a little bit of pixie pink. There's my diluted one right there. Little pink cheeks, some pink on her knees would be cute. And her elbow too. Okay. And I need to come back in. took just a little bit of Tempting Turquoise and came right under the front edge of her dress. Just to kind of give a little shadow effect. Pretty cute. And then I punch the corners. My other corner rounder is on its way out the door. I guess I'll have to buy another one because it's um, cracked. Gosh, I don't know how I got that ink there, but get rid of that. Okay. Oh, did you lose everything? Okay, and then some quick ink on the edges. I'm going to have to go get my baby some lunch. I think she's hungry. Pretty cute. As always, if you have any questions, let me know.